Yo. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, y'all? Jay Manley here, host of the Brother Guys podcast. And we are back again with another episode of Behind the Bars. Uh, today, uh, thanks, Zeros. I forgot we were doing Behind the Bars. I was ready to pod. Oh, no. Yeah, um, today we'll be breaking down the song uh, or interlude Circus by uh, Saba from Chicago. Um, I'm going to keep it a buck. This is going to be like a learning experience for me because I'm not too hip with Saba. So I'll be, you know, breaking these down and learning new things along with the audience. So this should be fun. Malcolm T. Rose have heard this song numerous times, I'm assuming. An interlude called Circus by Saba. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chilling on the West It's side. from his album, A Few Good Things, which dropped February 2022. If you ain't heard it yet, you sleep. You should go check it out. And A Few Good Things was actually my number one album last year and this year <laughs> on my streaming. Yeah, I'm about to say it definitely made That's me. That's my shit. Made my oh, is that his uncle years. on the cover or something like yeah, that? His his grandfather. Oh, grandfather? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. He didn't want to be on the cover, but... You know, niggas gonna dig. All right. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's get it. We are. <clears throat> you gonna do the high pitch voice? Oh, you want me to do it? You like, gonna do the high pitch voice? Uh-huh. <laughs> Chilling on the west side. Everything was perfect back in 2012 before our record hit the service. Had a few girls I was juggling. I ain't never did the circus. Had a former motor roller, but that bit was out of service. <laughs> All right, All so right. in case y'all understand what the fuck he just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chilling yeah. on the west side, everything was perfect back in 2012 before our record hit the surface. Okay, hold on, wait, we can stop right there. Yeah. The first line, I'm pretty sure we can all relate to. I think we all relate. chilling on the west side, everything was perfect. You know, we, we, we we've had those days. I've had those days. Facts. Yeah. Facts. West side, baby, nigga. Fuck you talking about. And then back in 2012, before our record hit the surface, if we just want to switch that to podding. We had them days too. I remember 2012, chilling. I was still making YouTube videos. Kicking it with the home. Me too. Kicking yeah. it with the homies, you know what I'm saying? Doing that. Had a few girls I was juggling. I ain't never did the circus. He ain't never did the circus. T Rose, you ever juggle some girls? Circus. I mean, yeah, we all have. How'd it go? Did you have to drop some or did some hit you in the face? Uh, Yeah, all of that. I've been through all of them. I've juggled and everything went perfect. I've juggled and dropped. I've juggled and some slapped me in the face. Like, damn. Been through the motion. Jay Manley? If I ever juggled women, yeah, yeah. So you've done the circus, okay? For sure. I think I'm about to say, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a fun circus. When was your first time doing the circus? Was it around 2012? What was I 16, 15, 16? Mm, yeah, yeah, like 2012, mm-hmm. 2013. Okay. Might have been yeah. earlier, but I didn't recognize it then. I just can't think of that. See, I don't think I was juggling the circus till probably like 2015. Mm. 2015? Yeah, maybe 2016. Damn. So you was kind of late to the party. Yeah, I was just hyper focused on hoes. Like I would, I would like when I had a shorty. You know what I'm saying? I did. I want it. That, that was, was my focus. That was the focus. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah, I feel it as it should be. It took me a long time to like be like, well, nah. See, my juggling came from like being hyper focused on the shorty and her mm-hmm. not really fucking with me like that, but like still fucking with me to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. And then me fucking with another bitch that I don't really like that much. So mm-hmm. like I was bouncing back before the two. Okay. Yeah. Now, I know it was like before our record hit the surface. 2012 was the year that that nigga Saba debuted as a oh, yeah, musical yeah, yeah, artist, yeah, yeah. in case you didn't know. Yeah. Chicago native, in case you didn't know. That's, yeah. West side. He's talking about the west side of Chicago. Had a phone by Motorola, but that bitch was out of service. Now, that I can't relate to. I ain't never had a Motorola. And I don't know how you even using a Motorola phone back then with it being out of service. Was he just using it to write lyrics? Had a phone by Motorola, but that, I mean, shit, it possibly could have been used as an MP3 player. Just listen to music. Could have been used as okay. a foot. I'm going to keep it bug with you. Um, back in 2012, actually. Yeah. Um, definitely had a prepaid iPhone 3G on AT&T as just like a backup phone when I didn't have my phone bill paid. Because I, I had a Sprint iPhone at the time and my shit was just hella behind. <laughs> to, to the point where we're like, nigga, y'all ain't getting your money. So they just cut my shit off. <laughs> And I had I had the Sprint phone that had all my um, iTunes at the time mm. and shit, you know, all my music and shit on that phone. And use that to play the music. Use AT and T to keep the call short. <laughs> to keep the call short. It's prepaid. Like, I'm outside, shorty. Yeah, facts. Like, Thanks, click. Click. Straight to the point. <laughs> Straight to the point. Hey, pull, I, I'm gonna pull up, bro. All right, bet. <laughs> so now I'm walking around with two phones, niggas thinking that I'm like that. Like, no, mm. you was off the porch. Yeah, this Damn. is this is this is just. For music and communication, but quick communication. Quick <laughs> emphasis on quick. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. My cargo in and out like you're trying to resuscitate it. <laughs> hey, 
We on the way, but only 50 50 chance we make it. Hey, we never say goodbye. I'll see you around. I'll see you later. Hey, he does not say Chicago. it like this in the song. I hope y'all know that. <laughs> Chicago, when you leave, we say be safe here. This Chicago, nigga. Yeah. In case you didn't, yeah, that uh, that famous <laughs> tag. Who does that? I have no idea. But we all Somebody know it. Though. We Chicago. all know it. Somebody important from Chicago. Yes, yes. Damn, we should know that. Facts. Somebody Damn. comment and tell us who that is. Please. We we sorry we sorry to the cook, but yeah. Saba, who I'm, is that? Yeah, I'm gonna sound uncultured too, but my first time hearing his voice, even though I know he's a legend, was uh, "Don't Like" remix. This Chicago. That might have been a lot of people's first time hearing it. Okay. Because that might have been the first time that that was like repurposed and highlighted mm-hmm. for a mm-hmm. worldwide audience. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I might be ignorant to the Chicago, you know, culture, and saying that, but mm-hmm. I could agree. My cargo and that was back in 2012. Yep. Hey, we on the way, but only 50 50 chance to make it. My That's cargo because the in car and going out. in and out because the car fucked up. You ever had car struggles as a young youngin? You understand the worst. It's like, shit, we on the way, but shit. Hey, I don't know if we gonna make it. <laughs> if, we, if we make it, niggas, by the grace of God. Yeah. And Same way, like if you being resuscitated, your heart going facts. in and out. We might make it. I don't know. We gonna see. Damn. But yeah, he said, we never say goodbye. I'll see you around. I'll see you later. This Chicago, when you leave, we say be safe here. You feel me? It's just, it's 2012. If you can go back in time in 2012 and you was around during that time and era or knew about Chicago's uh, violence. Yeah, just for lack of Crime better numbers. Terms, it was it was crazy. So it Gun wasn't play. no, you don't say goodbye. You don't say, you know, see you later. We say be safe. Cause yeah. nigga, it's dangerous out here. It ain't guaranteed. I'm gonna see you later, or exactly. I'm gonna see you around. And I don't want to say goodbye, cause that's a that's a finale. That's it. You know what I'm saying? We don't say, say hey, my nigga, be safe. Yeah, nigga. be safe. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and then we get into the verse right after that. About time, I think it's about time. Back then we didn't buy bye. Now I tend to spend my time. Time flies. I think about us. Chilling on the uh yeah. Everything we're perfect at this Okay, let me stop. We we, we moving too fast. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Alright. <laughs> I like the little bridge though. The bow time. I think it's bow time. Cause I think that's a bridge before you get to the verse, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, yeah, yep. yeah. Look at me identifying bridges. <laughs> yep. He uh he's just it, it's this bridge is just him reminiscing and yeah. recalling how carefree and how much more fun and much more less responsibilities, less things to worry about and more just being in the moment, more having fun, more freedom, more. They was just there. It was one of them. You had to be there kind of moments. You know what I'm saying? And as so you like, grow up, you realize when you look back on your life, how unintentional you was living. Yeah. And then like it says the now I tend to spend my time. Time flies. I think about us. So it seems like he went from a, a less intentional mindset to a more intentional mindset. Yep. They wasn't worrying about time. I, no, I was going to say um, something that I hear like a lot of people who um, society would deemed as like made it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of times they um, they tend to speak to missing how shit was when they didn't really have financially everything together. Mm. So mm, that is a thing. It's just wow. interesting. I, like I see, like a lot of people like speak to that, and it might be even weirder being on like the the middle part mm-hmm. to where it's like you have enough notoriety and enough resources mm-hmm. to where shit's cool, mm-hmm. but not as much as it appears from the outside. So then that might even cause certain problems that you never had before when you didn't have nothing. That's probably the case for like a lot of um for a lot of rappers that blew up in those like mid two thousands. You mean like the mid twenty tens? Or two thousands. Mid two thousands, like who? Like Young Dro. Mm, okay. And not a dizzles, because I I fuck with Young Joe. Yeah. Tough. So I'm and it was a point to... where I'm sure he had all that he needed. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I don't know his financial situation or anything, but from perception wise. Perception, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's probably comfortable. Like Sherlin Lee probably got him eating good to this day, probably. I mean shit, he got hits. He can still perform. Yeah, but but you but you know what I'm saying though. Like yeah. it's probably That's the joint though. Yeah. You know, he he got he got one of the he got hits, but he had that Hell, one. Hell, did he come back around for a second round? Well fuck that bitch. And whatever that came out. Oh my God. Yeah, 
Boing, oing, oing, oing. Yeah. Because he had to say, he had, yeah, fuck that bitch came out, what, 2014, 2015? Yeah, well, that maybe bitch, he's a bad yeah, example. Yeah. But, okay, yeah. but, but we I know what I mean. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, though. My bad, Joe. Joe got hit, so I know, I know, I know what both y'all you know were coming yeah. from. Yeah. No, because I started thinking about it, too. Like, yeah, damn, hold say, on. come on now, you can do this. <laughs> yeah, I, I fuck with Joe tough, yeah. My fault, I ain't, yeah. He said, my bad, bro. <laughs> I really fuck bitch, with Joe tough. a million for your millions. That's my shit. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. Building at the building. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. we're not doing that. Wait, we can do show to lead next. I was about to say, look, let's we'll do, do that next. No, let's, let's do Robin Banks next. <laughs> okay. All right, back to okay. Saba. All right. It's circus. What do you say? Uh, chilling on the uh, yeah, everything was perfect. All the small things about being broke, I never got to notice. I took everything for granted when the moment with slow motion got into a fender bender, whip so broken it was total. Wait. Mm. Chilling on the uh, yeah, you felt that shit, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> man. That's like that's kind of like what you was just saying. All the small things about being broke, I never got to notice. He took everything for granted when the moment was slow motion. That's what made me say that because I read that line. I was like, damn. Like I, I hear a lot of people echo that. Maybe that goes back to the bridge where he says, "Now I tend to spend my time. I think about us." It's kind of like living in a moment versus and appreciating whatever that moment for what it is versus like consistently mentally striving for something. Mm-hmm. 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 Cause like it's good to strive, but you also gotta appreciate every single step of that every step journey. That's why they yeah. say the journey is more valuable than the end goal. Fall in love with the process. Fall in love mm. with the journey, not the outcome, not the yeah. rewards. Women, but nonetheless, just look at Luffy, man. Niggas don't even know about one. One piece. piece relates to all forms of life. It do, and <laughs> niggas think we. Be, they think I be trying to be funny. They think you be trying to be funny when we say that. No, we be dead serious. <laughs> you can know. relate everything to One Piece in one some way, shape, or form. But yeah. Anyway. But um, got into a fender See. bender, whips so broken. It was total. Yeah, Taylor just said Yeah, yeah. See. <laughs> See. <laughs> you said okay. Uh, we not we not stopping there. Got into a fender bender, whip so broken. It was total. Sheesh. Um, I can't really relate to that, but I understand that. I have. To where it's like your whip barely holding on. So all it took was that little bitty situation to make it kick the kick oh. the kick the bucket. It wasn't even holding on. It just went from straight good to straight total. All right, ain't nothing about like having enough a, a car, bro, and then the engine blowing out on you. Mm, I ain't never had that. Terrible. Sorry. Actually, yes I did. My first one. <laughs> Damn. Big ass hole in it. Not to sound like I don't appreciate what they pay me, but all the days in the basement we trying to recreate it was I and the freaky lady from... Wait, let's go back. Let's stop right there. <laughs> Not to sound like I don't appreciate what they pay me, but all the days in the basement we trying to recreate it. Mm. Mm. So it kind of seemed like he's on the verge of... He's in the middle. He's kind of torn between appreciating... Between regretting that he didn't appreciate moments back then, learning to appreciate the now, but then also... Um, longing for how things used to be. Mm. It's like he wants the sentiments of what now is, but he wants that feeling and energy of how it used to be. I can relate to that. And he's still appreciative of what they paid me. Like he's appreciative, but yeah, he still wants the energy of back then. Cause like now we go back earlier in the verse, everything was perfect back then. Everything was good, but now. He's appreciating how good it really was compared to now and wants that same energy back, but he still wants to keep some sentiments of today's current, the current progress he's made and up until this point. Hmm. I feel it. I I, I feel it. Yeah, I can relate I, to that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely relate to that. I'm sure y'all can too. Yeah. You know, just watching Growing it. pains though. That's yeah. what it is. Growing pains. Not to sound like I don't appreciate what they pay me, but all the days in the basement we trying to recreate it was I and the freaky lady from my high school. Now she home and she looking at how we glow up 50 50 till she gone. <laughs> so I know. Yeah, that's I just stuff. Hold on. We can let that breathe. Let it breathe. <laughs> all right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Cause that's self-explanatory. It is. He was like, but for niggas that want to skip nigga. past it, nah, come back, come you, come back, <laughs> come here. Yeah. You was you was trying to hit on shorty from back in the day. That was you know she was looking mad good, but she a hoe now. You don't even want that shit no more. But she now she on you. Such a sad story. Back then she didn't want me. Now, now I'm, I'm hot. hot. She all on me. Such a sad story. She was she was it in high school, and you and you. Was still coming into who you still are. Still coming into who Yeah, so now yeah. you are who you are, and now she done glowed down. She done de glowed. See, and I think what people need to realize is that 
the different mm-hmm. genders peak in different eras of their life. And I think that will take away some of that uh, insecurity, the lack of confidence, and also resentment. Let me ask you this real quick. And I feel like we're going to agree. And you might be proud of me because I've grown in this aspect. Mm-hmm. Do you still have the, um, not, not you still have, but do you um, think that like people having a resentment towards like shit like that is like still heavy and niggas like today as adults? What you mean? Like when they resent people who like, oh, back then? She shitted on me back in 2008. I'm up now, though. Uh, Yeah, I feel like a lot of... And not even just in a... Um, not even just like guys or anything, but yeah, just but not in even general. Just in a romantic sense, though. A lot of people build their whole careers in life based off somebody shitting on them. Mm-hmm. You don't ever hear the stories about rappers saying, my teacher told me I wasn't going to be shit. I go back you to... just be lying. I go back to... I know, to, but I'm just saying to add to the... No, I brought it up because I go back to the Michael B. Jordan... Convo we had. What? What, what? You remember when Creed came out and Shorty, who used to crack on him, was interviewing him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot about that. All right. I still don't think he was on that, though, for real. Like, I still never took that as him like being mad. I think he was just like. He was just pointing it out. I don't think he was mad, but he felt the need to point it out, though. Like, it felt good for him to but point also, that out. Okay. I'm going to just see if I can, like, kind of look through. Okay. So that's probably the last. Memory he has of this individual, yeah, and that's, that's all. And that's all, stance. yeah, that's that all you can. Stance. So if that's the last memory of that person, that's all you can go off of until y'all meet again. Now you got catching up to do, but ain't no time to catch up in this situation. I'm be like, oh damn, this is the last memory I remember. You the girl that used to make fun of me. See, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I've had situations where I've ran into people who have had me fucked up from like years ago. Mm. The most I got is like a smell on the nod, but I don't think. But when Me you seen them, did you remember that? I remember. For, bro, I don't forget shit. That's what I'm saying. Off rip. When you seen them, the yeah. first thing you thought about was the ridicule that they gave you and all the shit, the insults and all that shit, right? Bro, here, I'm going to see this is off the behind the yes bars. Yes or no? This is kind of, no, listen, no, this is kind of relates to the, the Saba lyric all about, right. you know, right. back then and then 50 50 chance you going. There was a girl I had the biggest crush on, bro, from like second grade to like maybe the fifth grade. Mm-hmm. And. What was her name? I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Um, what to start with? Not even important. Right. Not even important. Um, call her something. <laughs> Becky. Cool, Becky. All right. Um, I had the biggest crush on Becky. Mm-hmm. And bro, it's been times where she like even like embarrassed me on some like like I tried to ask her out, called me ugly in front of the whole class. Really like on some like traumatizing like. Shit, right? Would, like, like, damn, okay. I would willingly embarrass you. Type like, shit. Yeah. yeah, like, so it was a mental note for me. <laughs> and, like, I remembered it. And then, sure enough, bro, pandemic comes. She's in my inbox talking about some we owe it to the universe to have sex. We owe it to the universe? Like, she on put some, it on the on universe? Some, like, let's make up for lost time. So you didn't collect your reparations? No. She didn't age well. I'm not gonna hold you. That nigga said... She put it on the universe. Yeah, I, like... Yeah, I, I was. I read the message and I felt like, oh, like I remember the situation. I remember yeah. what happened. Yeah, well, you we think you can play with me? You think like first off, like <laughs> so now you. I'm not. It. Yeah, I, I'm not that guy. I'm just not that guy who's gonna hold on to something that he wanted in fourth grade. <laughs> mm. Maybe she thought you was one of them guys. Hey, but that just goes to speak. It's like, but I don't have like no like, uh, like. Angry, like, yeah. no, nah, bitch. So, uh, I'm not going, like, I'm not about to, like, make it a point to, like, make her feel me. Yeah, Damn. I hear you. You see, yeah, like, you didn't want to fuck. Of course, you're not going to feel you. You was on a freaky lady. Now she, yeah, I just, bro, <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> looking at how you go up. 50 50 chance you go up, bro. Yeah, she, no. Yes, I know it was a 50. I knew it. Yeah. See, you told on yourself. No, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't a 50 50. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I. It was like, more like 28. Fam, I was looking low key like 1090. 1090 <laughs> only because it's just like. Let's be real. Depending on the day, was it 2080? No, bro. I was he looking said, bro, no, fam, no, ass, bro. You ever got some news and you tried to like study them to like be like. Oh, she hit you with that? Yes. And that was the caption? You we said news or nudes? Nudes. N U D E S oh. nudes, and then that was the caption. We owe it to the universe. Yes, no way. If that's the case, she should have just sent the pussy. She sent me like a series of them, and I'm she just sent like, the digital bro, pussy. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just looking at. No, you got to actually the send the pussy. Yeah. But have you ever looked at nudes and just been just like, no? You try to see yourself like, could I? Yeah, and it's like, nah. Yeah, I had that moment, bro, where I was like, 
No. He was like, no, nah, this not going to happen. See, anytime okay. I was in that situation, I still drove over there. Really? Not saying I did something, but I... <laughs> Look at your old face. <laughs> I wasn't always as smart as I am now. <laughs> That's fair. This That's thing fair. Is that I always drove over there. <laughs> mind, so you, you, mind you, I'm not saying that happened a bunch of times. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's was, what it was alluded so to. Have you ever had that, that happen? <laughs> what? Study your news? That, look no, we're like, like we're, we're the, the news drop, but like you're not even on that. But I'm not even you, on that type of time. Yeah, with that and, but then she, she like forces. You know what? Never Definitely. Mind. Never mind. Was she, she pushing like the forces? envelope? No. So she's pushing the envelope. She and just, she's trying to she fuck. just throws the nudes at you. Wait, you're a victim. Yeah, technically you are. Low key, yeah. Ain't no low key about it, nigga. You are. Yeah. Is that sexual harassment? Yeah. 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 I mean, men don't talk I mean, about it, but we get sexually harassed as much yeah, as women. Like, but you know, it's yeah. a different conversation. Damn, that's unsolicited pussy pics. Literally. That's never. I've never heard that term before. Because I was just like on because some chill. I was on some chill. Like, hey, like, oh, like, ain't talked to you in a while. Like, how, how are, are you? How are you doing? So you're playing catch up, and she's like, here, immediately nigga. to sex. I was trying to be cordial. I wasn't even on that. Well, you okay? Let's also let's also shoot her a little bit of bail. That pandemic horny was different. I can only give like ten percent bail to that. But yeah, I ain't saying you hundred percent wrong. But I give you like the ten percent bail. I mean. And also, she don't know you. You know what I'm saying? She might think she look good. Oh, she think I was the same nigga from fourth grade that was. Yeah, she might her. think she look good. It ain't yeah. about the fourth yeah, grade. Yeah, she just got she got her confidence is up. She ain't worried about what you think. Yeah. Her confidence is it's up. It's also oh, I'm a bad bitch and I'm horny and it's yeah. the pandemic. Niggas can't go outside. Let yeah. me hit up a nigga I think might want me. Yeah. <laughs> wrong nigga. <laughs> now maybe she did pick the wrong nigga, but that's often. We don't talk about how often they get it wrong, but <laughs> but let's move on. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We don't. We, we like don't. Because we don't post the screenshots and shit like that. We don't. But yeah, we don't. We just yeah. I might talk about it with y'all, but no, nah, we, we don't. let it. We, we just let it rock on the low. Mm-hmm. Honestly, that's funny. But yeah, we back on the west side. Everything was perfect back in 2012 before our record hit the surface. Had a few girls I was juggling. I ain't never did the circus. Had a phone by Motorola, but that... Blink, motherfucker! My cargo went in out like you trying to resuscitate it. Hey, we on the 50... Oh, I fucked it up. We on the way, but only 50-50 till we make it. Hey, we, we never, never say goodbye. No, see you around. See, around. see, see you later. later. Hey. Chicago, nigga. Again, that's the end of the song. It's an interlude. Boom. So it's real quick. Yeah. But it's straight to the point. And it's very... You break down. Listen to this breakdown. Go listen to the song. It's very... If you was there in 2012 and you are way past that time now, like if you was there, you understand where he's coming from, the sentiment. You ain't got to be from Chicago to feel it. I know we mid, you know, we from Nap, so we yeah. right down the street, but like. You said that some times on the West Side. You just had to like be a teenager in 2012, but the mm-hmm. beat selection is really good. The Facts. placement on the album is fire. Facts. The flow is crazy. The infliction of voice uh, that featured from Aaron Allen Kane on the back vocals. Mm-hmm. This is a really good. It's one of my favorite songs off the off the record. How deep the into project. the album is this? It's only like, it's like track. five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's in the first half of the album. Mm-hmm. Since on album. And Black Thought mm, went crazy nah. on this feature. Black Thought is the last feature. Black on Thought album. went crazy. He's on, the, he's on the last track and he went crazy. Yeah, Black Thought never disappoints. That is one. Th- this album is so well put together, and me and I was talking about this. this is a very slept on project. Yeah, it, indeed. It underrated. Like it should have got way more love than it did. Mm. Um, every thing about this project is pristine from the feature selection, the production <laughs> selection, the lyrical. I mean, the lyrical ability was gonna be there. It's solid. Yeah. I don't. I don't never doubt that nigga when it comes to his pen. Like when like, it comes to his skill. I don't know what won Grammys last year. What one? Yeah, because this wasn't even in the conversation. But this is one of the best albums from last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not even rap up album. Yeah, this period. is a top five album from last period. year. Like in over all the everything that dropped, this album needs to be in the top five of. I like everybody. this more than the Joey album. Facts, Ooh. facts, facts. Did Vince drop last year? Or he dropped twenty twenty one. He dropped last year. It was last year. He dropped two years in a row. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Vince and Sabu should have been in them conversations. <laughs> he dropped two years in a row. I, bro, I don't even know how. I don't, I'm lost as to how the Grammys comes up with. Who qualifies? Who doesn't? It's, it's, a it's, not, it's not even important no more. We're gonna do a uh, brother guys award show Facts. over the ne- uh, within the next few years. Facts. Okay. So that's what, that's what we're gonna do. The Grammys no, I, was, is no, I was gonna say though, because there's a bunch of like good um, like albums just across all genres that, just that I've heard missed. that are that are getting missed. There, were, yeah. if you want, there is a conversation. Well, okay, I guess we're here, and then we can wrap it up. But there was a conversation about how the Grammy voting in the polling system works. Mm-hmm. 
Moral of the story, that shit is based off of your relationship with the panel on the Grammys. Okay. But didn't they just change how they do it? Or is that what they changed it to? I want to say that's what they changed it to because one of the niggas that was on the panel was in the video talking about this shit. Okay. okay so, okay, okay. if I'm not mistaken, that is a newer um, tactic that they use. It's, so, if the panel not even aware, then you don't even got a choice. You don't even got a There's not like a it. submission thing. There's not like a fan base thing. Payola no is real. They'll make it, they'll make the fan base thing, like they'll make that as a facade to give, kind of like a vote. It's like an election. Okay. I'm about okay. to say, yeah, nigga, that's how they do everything. But, but I'm saying that... Yeah, no, was, I'm with you, I'm with you. Yeah. Cleo Soul needs to be in these conversations, too. She keep going crazy like saying. that. We can name niggas all day who need to be in these kind of conversations that don't get their proper... Hell, uh, that uh, that Catra meme album should have been nominated. I still had to listen to it. You say, let's that. do it? That shit's no. hard. It's some good energy. <laughs> it's some good energy. I was you made sure they dropped the instrumental version, too. Yeah, I yeah. listened to that. I'll I was, probably listen to that first. I was about to say, I listened to that more. Yeah. I would but, listen um, to that more. So yeah, yeah, right on for checking in. It's been behind the bars. Uh, shit, Saba, catch us, catch us next time. Peace. Hey, Saba, fuck with us, cuz fuck. Hey, yeah. <laughs>